This video is sponsored by Squarespace. From website and online store to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful website or run your business. Now, more on this later, but for now, pasta. What's up guys, salut, this is Alex. Welcome back to the dry pasta series. Today, I am back in Rome and very determined to sort my pasta situation out. Dry pasta is the unsung hero of the pasta world. We are so used to it that it has become a commodity. People even think fresh pasta is superior to dry pasta. Maron! This stops now. In this series, we're gonna learn everything we can about this fascinating Italian food. We're gonna start cooking dry pasta with respect. I like that. That's respect. And we are even gonna try and make some ourselves. Maron! I know, right? What a program. So in case you missed it, the previous episode was a f***ing disaster. The pasta has disintegrated inside the water. It was supposed to be the very end of the pasta series. Today, we make history. All the stars were aligned. I had all the knowledge. I had the right semola, I had the right extrusion machine, the right drying machine. But my brilliant mastermind plan miserably failed. No, no, what's going on? It's the f***ing cemetery. I couldn't make dry pasta. What they have been telling me from day one, that making dry pasta at home is impossible. <laughs> seems to be right. And yet, for whatever stupid reason, I have decided not to give up. So right now I am heading to Luciano Monosilio's restaurant, the Italian pasta master that really helped me in the very beginning of this pasta series. We are the only restaurant in the world that produces pasta di semola di grano duro all'interno del proprio locale. The only one. The only one. The only one. Yes, the only one. If, if somebody can help me on this, I think it's going to be him. So, so basically I have asked Luciano to hire me as an apprentice pasta maker for one day. This way, maybe, I will be able to spot the flaws in my process. This is the place. This is Luciano's place. Man, it's good to be back. Oh, man. Alex. Luciano, how are you, man? Good, Alex. <laughs> how are you? Welcome back. Thank you very much. So, so you ready to make some pasta? Yeah. Okay, let's, let's go. Let's do it. We go to okay. the laboratory downstairs. Super. So we move everything down. In initially, you know, I was worried because when I came in, I didn't, didn't see the pasta machine. <laughs> exactly. So I thought he got, he got rid of the pasta machine. No, and I'm coming no, no, for no, pasta, no, no. I'll show you, I'll show okay, you. Okay, show me. Okay. We move everything here. Ah. You Just to give you a bit of context right here. In the past, Luciano's workshop was on ground floor, but he's been moving the whole thing downstairs in order to have more room and to have a better controlled climate or like a humidity and temperature. So, we have nice space, we have all this stuff. So, and then uh, we start to make pasta, Alex. Yes, I think we should okay. make pasta. That's why I came, okay. I came here for. You've seen the series, right? Yes. You've seen uh, in how much trouble I am right now. Yeah, I am I lost. I have tried everything. I still can't make dry pasta. There is something wrong with my process and I am trying to understand what. That, that's why I'm here, because whatever you do here, it works. Yeah. You I know, had your meds and It's amazing. Yeah. So I'm thinking, if I work with you for one day, I'm going to find what my problem is. Okay. I want to make dry pasta. You're not going to be the only pasta maker on, on, like, on the map, okay? <laughs> All right, so Luciano, tell me, what is the first step? So, what, what are you going to do? Allora, we're starting to build the machine. We okay. see the, uh, this is the helica. Okay. Then, the trafila. In water? Yeah, in the water. So this is dome. Dome has to be soft. If you be, yes. Because if hard and stick to the pasta, it didn't come out properly. Yes. Ah, you've got a filter. It's like a stainless steel mesh yes. that goes behind the dye. Yeah. 
They have the, the sand of the, the pressure of the Oh, machine. wow! I didn't see it in the first time. <laughs> because the pressure is so yeah. high that you yeah. can see the shape. Yeah. This filter uh -huh. helps us to have very good pressure and extrusion. Mm. Increasing the pressure. Yes. Okay, we start make the dome. 6,000 kilo of semolina. 6,000 gram? Yes. I want to see what, what semolina you use. It's a little bit more bigger than the semolina as you can buy from the shop. Oh, this is grana media. Grana medium, medium, medium. It's not too fine, it's like medium, as you said. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Only half, okay? After we put more three kilo. Okay, this one is the first one. Uh, okay, so, so half the recipe is yeah. here. Okay. Yeah. First three kilo. Okay, the first three kilos. Then we okay. start mixing. You start mixing dry? Yes. We put all the water for all the recipes, okay? You see? Okay. This is all the water for six kilos of semola? Yes. That's it. Half. Half and half. Okay. We mix this. We mix this for 10 minutes. Not gonna lie, guys, but at the moment I feel blessed. This is the best way for me to find what the flaws are in my process. And believe me, I'm gonna analyze, study, and copy. Eventually, everything that I can. I'm just checking if he heard me. I have to copy to learn. So I'm j I just need to do a little math. 1.750 kilo of water and six kilos of semola. 29% of water. Yeah, you have to be more than that. Okay, so you are cool with sharing this information with me and with uh, everybody else? It's no problem, I will change the recipe next time. The pasta that I make is at 27. So it's not super far away, is it? Yeah. But it depends on the semola oh, also, no? Yeah, the semola is also the machine. For this machine, 29% of water. Yeah. Right this is working for is you? Yeah. But every time I, I have a chat with the pasta maker, they tell me, no, my recipe works for my machine. It's not going to work for your machine. And I'm just yeah. like, where is the pasta making school? There is no <laughs> pasta maker school. You have to learn by yourself. That's the really ability of the pasta makers, to find the recipe for the place and the machine. Yeah. I think that's exactly the problem that I'm facing. Yeah. I have the theory, yes. but it, it doesn't matter. I still yeah. can't make it. Now we put more three kilo. You see the, the dome, eh? it looks like uh, the sand. How long are you going to be mixing for? 25 minutes more or less, half an hour, depends. Half an hour, okay. When I went to uh, Monograno Felice yeah. in the north, they told me... Nella vasca impastatrice lavoriamo col vacuum. Questo impasto friabile si manterrebbe dentro tante bollicine d'aria. Quindi quest'aria qui noi la dobbiamo togliere con un sistema di, di, di vacuum. Clearly, your mixer is not working under vacuum because there is an opening. Yeah, but they have an industrial machine, it's different. Also they have the refrigerator in the, uh, in the mixer. So the problem that I face is not coming from the vacuum? No, no. Ah, big I have to see your recipe, maybe the problem is... Hello! Hello! <laughs> this way is going to be better, because if people see you, then they're not going to be surprised. So Alex, now, yes. after 20 minutes, okay. we just have to do one thing that's very important. So we have to fill the dome. When we press with hand, it's very compact, but if you do like that, okay. it looks like sand. So it's, it's like wet sand. Yeah, you see also the dome is a little bit hot, it's warm. Mm -hmm. So that means it is ready to be extruded. Okay, so understood. We have to clean the trafila. We open the mixer. Okay. And then... I can see that this is like all the dirty stuff. You are purging the machine. Yeah. You are cleaning. Yeah, the... we are cleaning the machine. The trafila, pardon. Yes. You see, Alex, the pasta is still coming like that. That's the problem that I've been facing. Why does it do this? Because uh, it's, maybe the ring is dirty, or maybe the extruder is not working very well. It's bro yeah, it's, the no, pasta is coming, but the, here, no. Okay. You see? When it's done like that, it's the pasta is ready for be cut from the cutter. Ah. Yeah. But it's very solid already. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. My pasta is way softer, way, way more fragile than this. Now, Alex. We stop the machine, we can, we can use again, we put that back. So the extrusion works. You have cleaned the trafila, now the, the pasta cutter. Okay. Yeah. Can you show me the pasta cutter before you plug it in? Can I, can I see this? Yeah. 
Okay, so this is your pasta cutter. Hmm, interesting. It's working. Yeah. Now, we open the water for make... Yeah, the water cooling. Yeah, the water cooling. So you need a cold extruder? Yeah. To protect the gluten? Yes. This is water coming in and this is water coming out? Yeah. We open here. Okay. Well, you can feel it's now it's hot. It's gonna get cooler? Yeah. Yeah, I can see it's, it's getting cooler already. Yeah. Everything is getting cold. Let's do it. It's very fast now. Okay. We have to make mezze maniche, so... So now you are adjusting the length of these mezze yeah. maniche? This is the right one? Yes. I still don't know exactly where the problem is coming from, but looking at the pasta, I don't have this pasta. So right now I am processing everything that I've witnessed in the shop. There clearly is a difference between Luciano's pasta out of the extruder and the one I made. But it means that my pasta making process has a problem that happens before the pasta dies. So it could be the mixing, it could be the recipe, it could be the machine itself, it could be the pressure, it could be many things. But I've got a narrower window in which I, I, I can explore now different options. You would be annoyed if I start a pa pasta factory in Paris? Yeah, with me. Maybe. <laughs> Not alone, man. With your face on it? Yeah. yeah. Almost done, the drain. Okay. You see? It's completely full. I have to be completely full. But I, I thought it would be a problem if the pasta is too close to one another. No, it's okay. It's not going to stick? No. No. You see? You can feel the wall. You see? You can feel with the hand. Allora, now, after extrusion, it's very important. We put the pasta here. Okay. We cool down the pasta. Okay, so this is the pre-drying? Yes. It's, it's just a ventilation. You see? Oh, yeah, 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 I can Natural see that the back. Do you think this is an important step, the yes. pre-drying? Yes, because if you put uh, the, the pasta humid and warm in the dryer, mm -hmm. when you close the dryer, the dryer is uh, full of humidity. So all the process of dry is changing. Uh. So we have to remove all the possibility of wrong steps for make pasta. You, you want to make the process as easy to repeat as possible. Yes. It's almost like the, the pasta that you make in the restaurant. If you make carbonara once, you can make a good job if you yes. really go for it. But if you make it a thousand times, it's different, different. then you understand things that you never saw before, right? Yeah. So, Alex, we make the second... Second batch. Yeah. That smell is very nice, huh? The warm smell. Okay, this is the first pasta that was extruded from the second batch. Yeah. So there was a waiting period. Yeah, inside here. Yeah. Inside the dye, okay? Yeah. The problem is that it looks exactly like the pasta that I make. We've got two colors, the skin is coming off on that side. The pasta is not strong enough. This goes right back. Okay. You see, this is look very good. It looks amazing. The skin is very nice, but, but it's also rugosa, no? Yes. That's a piece of art. All right, Luciano, let's look at your pasta dryer. This machine is very important for make pasta. Okay, so you've got a fan at the bottom, and then this fan yeah. pushing air inside, yeah. okay? Yes, yeah, pushing air inside. It's very strong. Wow. Oh no, it's super strong. Very strong. Loads of ventilation, man. Okay, I didn't expect that. So it's almost like a skydiving pit. You know, the, the one where you can practice skydiving. For make very good pasta, the machine has to be full. You see all these trays of pasta? The idea is basically to fill up that pasta dryer as much as possible. Guys, so uh, there is something I need to tell you. I haven't come to Italy empty-handed. You see, in my luggage, I have brought this. <laughs> it's a data logger that can record temperature and humidity over time. You just turn it on, you press record, and then you place this in with the pasta inside the dryer. And this way, you can reverse engineer the drying program. I can inspire myself with this. So that is exactly what I'm going to do with this right now. I'm going to place it inside the dryer. Okay, and I'm going to see you in 10 hours? 11. 11 hours. Okay, okay. so everything is ready? After, yeah. Okay. The machine is full. We close the door. Yes. 
and then we push start. It's on now? It's working? Wow, so and then see you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Great! Let's go. Okay, follow. We have to move. What if, what if it didn't work? Wow! Oh man! Okay! Oh, it's solid! It's like rock, almost. It's like stone! Yeah, it's, you see, you can feel when the pasta is done. You see, it's records. Yeah, you can't break it. Yeah, it has to be like that. It has to be like this? This, yeah. Very strong. Up, 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 up. I'm gonna take this. Okay. Oh man, that's beautiful. You want to try to cook? Yes. Yeah. I would love to cook them. Yeah. Oh man, it worked. How much? Like like this? A little bit more. A little bit more. Yeah, more generous, more Italian. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you're right. Well, guys, this is it. The pasta is cooking. I'm gonna have a sit down outside, and he's gonna be bringing the dish. This is a full circle. It's stupid to think that the solution to my problems has probably been under my nose the entire time. What I mean by that, I've been looking for answers in the north of Italy, in like super high-tech industrial pasta factory in the south of Italy, with like hundreds of years old artisanal pasta factory. I couldn't find the answer to my problem. I needed somebody who was doing it low-key. Somebody like Luciano. Alex, this is the moment. Yeah, man. This is uh, your pasta. The color is stunning on this one. Dark yellow in the center. Some shades of a lighter golden yellow. It's beautiful. Merci. You wanna have a sit with me? Yeah. <laughs> so, try your dry pasta. It's firm. No. Hmm. There is no salt. No, just a little bit of olive oil. Just a bit of olive oil. Nice. It's like chips. It's amazing pasta. Mm. <laughs> it's amazing pasta. So, Alex, you did a very great job. <laughs> but mm. you have to change or maybe you have to fix your recipe. You think the problem is coming from the recipe? Yeah, it's not the problem, the machine. I don't know, because like so, the extrusion is different. So, but you start from the recipe. Yeah, you're right, for sure. I'm going to take a scientific approach to yeah. it. I'm going to change one variable at a time. Yeah, step by step. But at least I know that one of the problems comes from before the pasta comes out of the extrusion. Ah, yeah. There, there still are many possibilities. Yeah. Huh? So you have to step by step. And then you will fix your problem. Thank you, man, so much for so, all this. Thank You're you. welcome. Oh, man, Whatever I'm, you I'm, need, you just call me this I, time. I You're the left. I might. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enjoy so your pasta. I'm going to finish my pasta. Yeah. Thank you, man. Take your time. I don't know what that sound is, but it's like the sound of the end. This pasta just has a touch of olive oil, no salt, and I'm still enjoying them. That's how good they are. There is this very distinct Durhamwood flavor that I can smell now. I'm not sure I would have been able to smell that before the pasta series. In fact, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't have been able to. Not gonna lie, right now I'm devastated that I could not manage to make dry pasta in this series. I realize there is something wrong with my pasta making process. I may have hints of how I could fix this, ideas of things I could change, but making another dry pasta episode is not gonna be the solution, no. As painful as it can be for me, I'm gonna say that this is the end. But you know what? Inside of me, there's also a little voice that says, even though this battle is over, I think the war has just begun. This can't be the end of like the pasta series. I learned so much during that scene. It's like when I started, but I genuinely thought that the subject was gonna be too thin to base the whole series upon. Uh, uh. No, the subject was stronger than I was. I hope you enjoyed the journey. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you learned things, because I definitely did. So I'm gonna say goodbye to Pasta for just a moment, but I will see them in the near future for season two, 
season two of the dry pasta series. In the meantime, take care. Bye bye. Salut. All right, let's talk about today's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace makes it easy for chefs and creators to monetize content and expertise in a way that fits your brand. With member arrears, you can unlock a new revenue stream for your business and free up time in your schedule by selling access to gated content like video classes, online courses, or newsletters. Squarespace also has powerful blogging tools to share recipes, photos, videos, and recommendations. You can categorize, share, and schedule your posts to make your content work for you. And last but not least, Squarespace has the tools you need to get your business off the ground, including e-commerce templates, inventory management, a simple checkout process, and secure payments. Whatever you sell, Squarespace has merchandising features to make your product look their best online. So check out squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash French guy to save 10% off your first purchase of a domain or a website. Thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this video.